a witch is Jenny Love, the Rogue Witch, from Broom Book and Candle. And this is week six of the Pagan Challenge. What are your cultural influences? I would have to say that my biggest cultural influence is my mother and her Sicilian heritage. My mother's a pilgrim right off the boat. Um, I'm first generation in this country. And their ways, their old ways, their superstitions, their teachings, they make the biggest, they make the most sense to me. Um, because it always was. If you don't think that an Italian teaches and hands down how to put intention into your food, that's witchcraft. We always have a joke with my mother that if she makes something for a party and it sucks that she didn't put any love in there. My brother will tell her, it's no love in here. He knows it. She rushed. She was thinking of something else. She was had other intentions and she didn't put her love and her intention in the food. We know it. We can taste it. Witchcraft. So um, they're definitely my biggest influence. And that's not to say that I don't think that learning new things and learning new ways dishonors that. Um, my mother, here's the gospel according to Olga, always told me a story. Um, there's a lady, she's teaching her young daughter how to make a ham. It's a recipe that has been passed down for generations. The young daughter is sitting there with her mother and they have this recipe and it's it's all faded and uh it's on this old paper and you could barely read it and mama's making i think it's a ham and she cuts off the ends of the ham and the daughter says why do you cut off the ends of the ham and her mother says because it's it's in the recipe and so she asks her mother hey ma this you know the ham recipe why do you cut off the ends of the ham and she says in the recipe so she goes and asks her mother little old lady ma why do you cut off the ends of the ham she says because my pan was too small so modern witch it's 2016 sometimes doing things new sometimes finding a new and better way of doing things doesn't really dishonor the old ways Maybe the old ways were just all they knew, all they had. It was the ability, they were working to their greatest ability. So I study and study and read and read and read. And I take what I like and what makes sense and what furthers me. I use my computer biggest source of of information I have. I watch videos. I read books. Uh, on my nightstand right now is the candle in the crossroad. Working the root. Backwoods shamanism. Do I think I practice hoodoo? Voodoo? Voodoo? No. Do I appreciate it? Do I want to learn? Sure. I'm not initiated into those traditions. Um, no one's teaching me, but I find them fascinating. I read them. I, I love certain Orishas. Um, I have a, a Oshun altar box. I love. I love what she represents. Um, I have Hakate on my on my altar. Um, I have Santissimo Muerte downstairs. Yeah, I study a lot and I like what I like. N not because I like it um, and I don't feel like I need to go any further with it. I just, I like it and uh, it fascinates me. I, I studied tons of Wicca. I mean, for years I thought I was Wiccan. Um, it, it, I'm not, but are there aspects to my practice that are Wiccan? Sure. 
and it harm none. Do as ye will. It's it's on my living room wall. I have a um, a mural painted of it on the wall. I'm not Wiccan. I just think it's a really good way to live. So I use it. Um, so I don't think it's dishonoring the old ways to be a modern witch. And I don't think it's dishonoring a tradition to kind of read about it and sort of, it's kind of like, it's a nod to them. Um, tip my hat. If I'm, if I'm, um, doing a spell and I, I have Oshun there. Um, I, I don't, I don't think it's dishonoring anybody and I don't think that it's lazy and I don't think that, um, it's incorrect. So biggest influence is obviously Olga and her family and the Italians. Um, and then really just what I read and, um, you know, you guys, I was watching Amber, uh, Honey Raven the other night and she was on vacation with her wife and they went to a store called the tree of life. And she got this witchy haul of all these used books. And I was feverishly in the dark, writing them down, my husband sleeping because I'm like, Ooh, that one looks really interesting to me and I'm going to get it and I'm going to read it. And I'm not going to think I'm dishonoring anyone or stepping on anyone's toes because I might like something in that book and I might use it the next time I do something. Um, I like my book of shadows to look old again, not because, um, I, not because I think that that's the way it's supposed to be. I just like crafting and, um, I just think it's fun. Sometimes things are just fun and that's okay. So, uh, that being said, I think I got through this video. <laughs> okay. I hope that made some sort of sense. Um, you know, we all study, we all read, we all just want to sort of be spiritual and be on this crooked path and, um, do our thing. And do I feel the need to be right? No. Um, I just don't. And I think that you got to go do you and you got to be true to you. And if you were brought up in a certain tradition and it's generational and that's, that's fantastic. I wish that that's what I had. I wish that I was born, you know, sixth generation pagan and we have this 200 year old grimoire and, um, and that's what I use. I don't, I got to do my own thing and that's fine too. So, um, anyway, I think that's all I have to say about that <laughs> to quote Forrest Gump, another influence. And, um, so you guys go get your witch on. Bye.